Okay, hello YouTube, welcome to my first episode of my tutorial series on how to play LC PDFR for Grand Theft Auto 4. A lot of you guys lately have been asking me a lot of questions on how to install certain mods or install LC PDFR altogether, so I figured I would create an entire series from the ground up and show you guys how to install all the mods that I have in order for me to play LC PDFR. First comes first, in order to play LC PDFR you have to have a legitimate copy of Grand Theft Auto 4. So if you have pirated Grand Theft Auto 4, it will not work. Just telling you now before you uh, go any further. Once you've bought Grand Theft Auto 4, either through the GameStop app, uh, such as I've done up here, Steam, or you went out and actually bought it, uh, go ahead and install Grand Theft Auto 4. It may take a while, took me a couple hours. Once you've installed Grand Theft Auto 4, um, I like to move the folder to the desktop, which I've done right here with this GTA folder. You don't have to do that. I just do it because it makes it easier for me. If you want to leave it under the Rockstar Games folder for your computer, that's perfectly fine. Uh, it will work just the same. Okay, so now we are ready to install LCPDFR. What you do once you install Grand Theft Auto 4, go to LCPDFR.com. Click on this Downloads tab right here. And then on the right side, you will see version 0.95. Go ahead and download uh, version 0.95. Once you've downloaded that, you will have a little icon that looks like this right here. Uh, the file name should be 095RC2R2. You will go ahead and double click on that. Once you double click on that, you will get this little guy that pops up. It is the uh, G17 Media Setup Wizard for LCPDFR. Um, go ahead and press next to begin installation. Now, system compatibility. You have to make sure all four of these items are checked green. Um, when I very first installed LCPDFR, I did not have uh, the Visual C++ uh, redistributable pack. Um, if for some reason you have a red X right here or up here for the .NET framework, it's real simple. All you have to do is go to Google and type in what you need. So if you need the .NET framework, go to Google.com and type in .NET Framework 4 and Windows automatically pulls up, uh, or Google will automatically pull up the Windows download screen for that. And then you just download it. It's real simple. It's real self-explanatory. So, uh, go, if you need to do that, go ahead and download those. And then restart, um, if you need to, restart this. And then once you've downloaded those and you've restarted it, then you should see all four green checks. So once you get all four, uh, you're good to go. Hit next. Um, now, if you did not move your folder to the desktop, then you'll just hit next, but I moved it, so I have to change my destination folder. Uh, GTA, there we go. Okay, so now this is the folder that I want LCPDFR on. So press next. And you want to leave all these checked. Uh, the game needs all these to run, so just don't mess with this screen. Hit next again. Uh, hardcore mode, uh, don't do it, just don't. Um, callouts, you want to leave the, you just want to leave these both alone. Don't check either one of these. Uh, if you don't want callouts in the game, basically, if you don't want to receive calls for service, uh, you can just press uh, F7, I believe. This is F8, but I believe it's F7, and uh, it'll put you as busy so you don't get any calls. So you don't need to disable this at all. Um, and then hit next. If you have an LCPDFR.com login, you will put that information in right here at this screen. Um, I'm not going to do that today because I already have my single player uh, link to my LCPDFR account, and I don't want to mess it up. So, if you don't have an lcpdfr.com login, it's not a big deal. You don't have to have one. Just hit next. All right, now this is the pre-installation screen. It just shows you everything. It's getting ready to install. Make sure all this is uh, is correct. And then it looks like it is. And then hit next. Should take about five seconds. And then it will say installation progress. The green bar will fill up and says installation successful. And then hit next. And that's it. Installation successful. Thank you for installing LCPDFR first response. To start LCPDFR, load GTA 4 and press Alt-P in-game. Alright guys, then you hit finish. And if you go to your folder, you look at the scripts, and you will see it right here. LCPDFR, first response. So that means you've installed it correctly. Now, in order to run LCPDFR, since it is a mod in GTA 4, open up your folder, and then you need to find the launch GTA 4 application. It should look like this. might look a little bit different. Just make sure it's the application... Um, that looks like this with a little window instead. Uh, you don't want to click on any of these. You want to click on this guy right here. Uh, you need to right click and then run as administrator. And then of course press yes and then load the game. Once the game loads, 
Um, all you do is press Alt P while you're playing the game, and you will see on your little radar on your left hand side where to go for um, to play the game. So. Basically, you have to go to a police station to go on duty to play LCPFR. You will see a red circle um, right out in front of the police station. Just simply step into that red circle, and it, the rest is history, guys. It is real simple. It tells you everything you need to do, and uh, you go from there. So the next uh, episode, I'll probably show you how to install the trainer, which is basically the in-game menu that you see me pull up a lot uh, to, you know change uniforms, get weapons, uh, clean the car, all kinds of stuff. You really use it for everything. So I'll show you how to install that next episode and some other mods. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them uh, in the comments of this video. I cannot guarantee you, however, that I will be able to help you out. I've never had an issue installing this game. So if you run into some kind of fatal error, I really don't know how to fix it because I've never ran into it. The best uh, option for you to do if you run into any kind of errors, is to simply Google or YouTube it. And I can almost guarantee you that there will be a video or some kind of forum that tells you how to fix it. Um, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not the biggest computer guy at all, and I, I downloaded it fine through YouTube and Google. It really helped me uh, install all the mods and all that. So it definitely helps. Um, so that's what you guys need to do if you run into any kind of errors like that. But once again, if you have any kind of simple errors that maybe I can help you out with, feel free to leave them in the comments, and I will uh, get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, look around for the next episode. Uh, like I said, I'll show you how to install the trainer and all that, and you guys have a great day.